Perfection does not exist in anyone. Striving for perfection in any part of our lives is a recipe for failure, since it can never be attained. It goes without saying that perfection does not exist, unless there are still those who are fooled by this word. Perfection is as subjective as beauty. It is different for everyone. It is never the same. So why do we have to make things so complicated even though we are aware of it? At first, I wasn't sure about telling you this story because of the embarrassment that I felt. But for the sake of my honesty and the lack of shame in this situation, I will because there is no perfection. In one of my videos, I already told you guys that I've got an eating disorder during my teenage years and once you got it, you can never get rid of it. It never goes away, simply. So whenever I have psychological struggles, I always come back to my issues with food. Of course, I've been noticing the growth of my muscles in fact, those two things began simultaneously, my regular workout journey and my transition to a vegan diet. So about two weeks ago, I looked at the mirror very carefully and realized how bulky my legs have become. Yes, my body is fit, but overall my muscles have become bigger and bulkier. I began to blame veganism, since it's a huge change in one's diet. First of all, I began to eat bigger portions because of the lower calorie intake. And second of all, you never know how your body will react on such a big change in your diet. Someone loses a lot of weight after going vegan. Other person does not change at all and the rest of the population gains weight. And I wasn't sure if I am the third type. It was bothering me a lot. And I've got that obsessive idea that I had to lose weight. I had to put myself on a diet, on a strict diet. I even downloaded the that app of Fat Secret to count calories which did not last actually. All of that madness lasted for two days, I guess. And yes, during those days I ate eggs, dairy and fish once. I just thought that I needed to switch the diet to, you know, come back to my skinny state that I had before. But after that experiment, I realized a few things. First of all, my body does not want animal products. It does not react on them well. It does not get satiated. And my stomach got heavy after eating those uh, products. No, I want to tell you, I do not regret that experiment. Yes, maybe, and I thought that I betrayed my principles. I betrayed animals after I ate that bite of... I don't know, fish and eggs, but I needed that experiment to realize that no, my body does not have that need of eating animal products, that no, my body will not get better. Moreover, my body did get better after I went vegan, and I feel a lot better, and my digestion improved, and the quality of my body improved a lot after I began my workout journey and my vegan journey. I just needed to get that realization. And also I want to add that I stopped running my second account, my food blog account on Instagram that I started a few months after I went vegan because it is not healthy for my mental health, for my eating disorder issues. You know, this whole process of making my food look pretty for someone else and posting it and telling the world that I'm a perfect vegan makes me unhealthy, makes my relationship 
with food even more unhealthy than it is already. So I did not delete that account for some memories in the future, but I'm not going to continue posting in that account. The main thing that I realized after going through that little madness is that change is totally normal. Even if my body changed so much after going vegan specifically, it is totally fine. The quality of my body improved. Yes, maybe I became bigger, but it doesn't matter as long as I'm healthy and as long as I'm helping the world, I'm helping animals, I'm supporting them. And some kind of psychological issues are no longer an obstacle. Your body will modify throughout your whole life and you never know what causes the, this modification or another. So I will embrace the change because it will never stop happening. It's just part of life and we have to suck it up and move on. The whole purpose of me making this video today is to show that there is no perfection in either veganism or anything. And if there are people who are also struggling with uh, not being perfect in veganism, and I'm sure that there are a lot of such people, I want you guys to understand that it's okay. It's okay to try new things. It's okay to test your uh, well-being, to test your body, to taste your psycho if you need it. It is great if you come back to being vegan after experimenting. If not, it's also fine if you feel better. Just know that you are the only one who knows what's best for you. And yeah guys, I wanted to know that I'm vegan, it did not change and I feel absolutely great about it. I will continue supporting this movement and yeah, that's it, I guess. As always, I am welcoming your feedback and comments and I'm always responding to it. And I will see you in the next video next week. Bye, guys.